Our patient today was an excellent candidate for an in-office hysteroscopy. The fact is, is that is that I had noted on doing a saline infused sonogram that she had a single large polyp inside the endometrial cavity. We saw this rather pronounced polyp inside the uterus. Mm -hmm. Now, while that can be related to problems with bleeding, sometimes with discomfort, it's, it certainly can be a factor with fertility. Mm -hmm. And so our plan is to go in through an easy procedure where I place a telescope called the hysteroscope inside the uterine cavity and basically use a, a, a device which allows us to shave off the polyp. We're gonna do a procedure, I'm gonna talk with you, like we talked about the other day, where I'm gonna simply place this scope into the vagina, on into the cervix. Obviously, if, if it gets too uncomfortable, we can stop and use a local anesthetic called the paracervical block. Or we can even schedule it on another day when we when we uh, can give you sedation. So we have a, a lot of a lot of different options. But I want you to know from the get go that we can we can uh, stop at any time. But by the same token, this is a very very safe, very quick procedure. Now, right away, a polyp is a much easier in-office procedure than say a one and a half centimeter fibroid would be, just because of the density of the tissue. It's the type of pathologic entity that can easily be dealt with with the very, very thin incisor blade. She became the ideal patient, first of all, because we knew the pathology. We knew what we were going to do. Another thing that made her an ideal candidate was because she is fairly young and very healthy. The patient today was motivated to, to do the least amount of anesthesia, analgesia as possible. I had already talked with her about the various processes that, that we could do. So we had a motivated patient, a very healthy patient who understood her procedure. 